the rigor mortis has set in. Back when I was a fisherman, we would have called this the Mac Daddy. I got invited onto Graham's boat and uh, we went out to the heads from Akaroa, went around into the southern bays and um, planned to do a wee bit of diving. And this is that story. This was Graham's first run of his Davy Craft boat, so it was kind of a shakedown to get to know the new boat. And upon arriving at Wainui, <laughs> I do that thing that probably every diver has done at some point in their life. Oh no, I forgot my weight belt. My weight belt was left behind in my car. Thus began the journey of the lost and forgotten weight belts. That title will make sense uh, later on in the video. Heading out from Wainui, we uh, headed down to the southern bays. The weather was cloudy, but it was pretty good overall. You know, not a lot of wind and pretty flat. A little bit choppy out by the heads, but uh, pretty flat overall. Heading around to the southern bays, we went from bay to bay to bay and just had a look and decided which one are we going to have a go at. Saw some interesting sights along the way, quite a few seals sitting on rocks. Found this one particular spot where you couldn't tell the difference between the birds and the bird shit because they're shitting all over the rocks. But we finally found a spot and we settled down and got our gear on. <sighs> Knowing I didn't have a weight belt, I got into the water first, got my gear on, splash dive, got in there. I had a catch bag around my waist and went for a bit of a snorkel and had a wee look around. Quite a lot of mussels growing on the rocks around here. A combination of uh, black shell and green shell mussels, so picked off some of the green shell mussels and put them in my catch bag. Had a face to face encounter a few times with a few banded wrasse. Mostly small ones, but the odd big one. And I had a wee go at diving down and trying, trying, desperately trying to dive down underwater with no weight belt. And I would kick like crazy and, you know, get one or two meters underwater before the buoyancy of the wetsuit would just rocket me back up to the surface. But my purpose really was actually just to be scouting, to have a look around and see what I can find. Overall though, it was a really fantastic swim, a really lovely swim. So I hopped back out and then uh, Graham hopped back in.
and slows down. Unfortunately, when Graham hopped back in, the weight belt went overboard and uh, was lost. So with a catch bag full of mussels but no weight belts, we'll make our decision what we're going to do when we get back in the harbour. So we steamed back into the harbour and upon re-entering the harbour, found another fishing boat engaged in fishing for kahawai. There were flocks of birds sitting on the surface you know, on the western side of the uh, harbour near the heads. And the kahawai that were in the water were chasing the little bait fish. So the little bait fish are heading up to the uh, surface. See it? The kahawai were big. And the first one that was caught was by Graham. And the rod broke. Oh, look at that broken rod. Yeah. <laughs> he still landed it though. Like, bring that fish in. We've got other people hanging around. Yep. Look at the size of that fella. My god, look at that thing. Enormous fish with a broken rod. <laughs> Matt Watson, mate, signature series. I've been fishing many times uh, at the uh, Waimakariri River mouth and it gets overfished because every day you go there you will see dozens and dozens of fishermen with fishing rods there. And every time that I've seen people catch kahawai there they're usually small. So to see them this big was impressive and Kay was the next one to catch one. <laughs> Kahawai have a reputation as a fighting fish and that that reputation is uh, well earned because uh, yeah they're uh, they're not going quietly when you bring them over they're fighting you every step of the way haven't quite got them yet there we go <laughs> Every time you had them, they had lift the rod and lift oh, them out again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was a good little fight. Oh, it was a wheat. Well, they do say cowboy are fighting fish. So with the unbroken fishing rod, the second one, the trolling rod, we trolled around and then it was my turn. It was my turn to catch a kahawai. Oh, my, my first ever kahawai. Bringing it in. <laughs> yeah. I'm just bringing it round. It works. That's all we care about. <laughs> yep. so, <laughs> so strong. Yeah, they are. Right? <laughs> now you know why I was swearing. There he is. Oh, yeah, little cow. Oh, not little cow, white, big cow, white. Yeah. A very exciting moment. The very, very first time I've caught a cow, white. After this we uh, continued fishing for a little bit but it looked like the fish had moved on and uh, there wasn't too much left. So that was the day's fishing done, head back up to the boat ramp and finish up for the day. Flash forward back to my kitchen and I'm about to batter up this kahawai after filleting it and serve it up with some wasabi and some tartar sauce.
better than Hawaii. Mmm. You want the Kaha boy? Okay. Alright. Yeah. Yeah, you like that one, huh? Mm. That was good. You're pretty lucky. Not many cats as lucky as you.